What up? Dude, I'm, I'm like really killing this whole early morning thing, being an adult thing lately, because it's like 8 o'clock in the morning and I'm already on the road. Um, and the reason I'm on the road today is I'm gonna go pick up two mail order brides. So two bride seats um, for an absolute steal. The homie up in uh, North Dakota, Danny, he drives the uh, R32 with the RB. He's driven a couple of our events, but he posted on this page, this little, this little tiny page called D-Town that some of you might know. And you know, it's crazy because I try really hard to go with the guys when they when they find parts, you know, three in the morning runs to uh, pick up cars and all this and that. And look, wow, look who's with me. Say hi guys. I'll update when we grab them. And it's only about a three hour drive to where we're meeting up halfway point. So until then, ah, package secure. I got two O's in a bag. Straight from the motherland, dude. They obviously aren't in perfect condition, but for being a almost 20 year old seat, I'm pretty stoked on them. Uh, this is the one I'm actually just gonna get rid of. This one has a lean to it that I think is kind of sketchy and probably the structural rigidity of it is kind of gone. You can kind of see it leans that way. Um, but other than that, I mean, I'm gonna give them a shampoo and we'll see how they look. This one has a very common like um, holding bolster of where your, kind of your ribs go and your gut and coming in and out of that obviously just rubs off. So this one's in really nice condition though once I clean it, I'm super excited. Uh, it just doesn't have that piece, so I'm gonna give that a quick spray down with some grease to make sure it's just gonna slide for as good as it can. Brand new FG bride rail on it. Um, the other one has a, probably an older version of this FG as well. But yeah, let's clean them up and see how it goes. I spent way too much money this weekend, but the seats are finally in. Oh, uh, you can't even see it, look at them go, look at it. Uh, uh. So, for you guys that haven't really been a part of the channel for a long time, or didn't know me when I had my 240 at like phase one. Uh, this seat is like really reminiscent of what I had before. Uh, for the reason of that being, I had an Ergo 1.5, which is like the Ergo 2 style, just doesn't have the embroidery of bride on it. So this one's really tight for the same reason that that one was. I love this gradient. Really wish that you could find these that aren't completely faded, but you know, it, it is what it is. Um, previous owner, had this bent for whatever reason, so I threw a couple washers on there. It's completely safe. It'll pass tech because I tech, and uh, yeah, it's just something that I've always wanted. I never, I always hated the stock OEM seats, so I figured it was this was a perfect way to kind of balance out the interior of this car. So the installation process was completely painless. Uh, just gonna go back through and torque some of these up, and then I'm gonna try and sell the driver's side rail and the driver's side seat. It's so funny. Look how much lower you sit with this one compared to that one. So tomorrow we're gonna go on a little adventure. I'm not gonna talk about it yet. I'll wait till John's with us But today I had the day off for a little while and just had to do basically some Kind of housekeeping and some errands before the long weekend because we're gonna be doing a lot of stuff So I just ran over to the post office because I missed the delivery yesterday um, But I'm gonna check out this new lens that I picked up today Okay, so me and the boys like to call these cheat lenses because 1.4 aperture gives you some creamy ass bokeh. Big fan of the 35, but the 30 was a lot cheaper and no instabilization, but just mostly gonna be for stills and maybe some stuff like on a tripod for these videos. But uh, so yeah, the seats are in. John is without a car for exactly a week now, right? Week tomorrow. Week tomorrow, so okay. Damn, big deal, all right. Having race car withdrawals. Having work, that's a fact. So, he's getting the Corvette next week though. He almost picked one up today, and that could have been. Oh, who could that be? The Bean? No, it's my grandma. Oh. <laughs> now it's uh, about to strike 7 a.m. John, you completely doubted me that I'd be awake, but I was up before he called. Uh, I'm sure he has the trailer ready to go, and I'm sure he's just painting at the door ready so about to go ahead and get a Corvette <laughs> so we're right on time pretty much 727 shocked shocked John was blown away he called me and he's like oh you're up because I had my phone in my hand and I was getting ready and I answered it on the first ring so we're in Tanner's uh, truck shouts out to Tanner um, your car smells like shit just so you know but so yeah we have about uh, how long about a five-hour drive Potentially picking up a Z06. Potentially. We've been saying potentially all night. 
not to jinx ourselves, it's not set in stone, but if all goes as planned, we will have a Z06 on the trailer in about five hours. And then I uh, might hit up O Street. Oh fuck, this might be the O Street cruise video. There you go. We gonna get a little ignit. <laughs> I'm really pushing the abilities of my body on three hours of sleep right now. What are we doing? Going to get hooks to strap the car down if we get it. Corvette stuff, I don't, I don't know. Here's uh, John's sort of girls. Yeah? That's the one. God damn. She pretty. Big boy toys, John. It's about damn time. <laughs> it only took almost three years of talking about it to finally make it happen. <laughs> so this is the one, where are we right now? I still, <laughs> I've been asked this 20 times. Decora. Decora, Decora, Iowa was this one. So John was originally looking at one in Mississippi and we were gonna go for a fucking 15 hour drive and we found this one instead. Um, and it was really simple. He did all the negotiation online, so we just came and did the financing, signed the paperwork, and boom. Proud of you. All right, so now we're gonna try and get this thing up on a trailer. Let's see how it goes. So, uh, John got himself in the predicament with the trailer. Hello. Oh, Jesus. So, I heard your your doors don't work. That's why you gotta come out of it this way every time. Yep. Jesus Christ. You gonna do a burnout on the trailer? Come on, baby, you got it. Ooh. Wait, that's the workout for the day, huh? Damn, look at me getting that bitch lined up. All right, so we didn't want to tow it by the wheels because it might have pulled off the alignment. So John, when we went to Northern Tool, he got these like special clips that basically go into the holes of the car. And then from there, it just hooks up and has a hole in it. And then you use these special straps that, you know, any other strap basically, and it straps it down. And the mounting points are like right here. So right under the fender well. And then basically linear to that right here. So that way it pulls it but it's not yanking around your alignment going all the way home. How is it going on a trip to pick up a car and doing the vlog and not... Okay, it looks way worse on camera, but... Yeah. Shit's getting crazy, bitches! The Corvette lights just turned on. What the fuck, dude? Of course it hails. John just ran out. <laughs> oh, John, bro. Of course, right? She's alive, barely. 
Man, we were really ho hoping to make it to uh, Americruise tonight, but John's a little pussy. Oh, easy there. Mm. Mm. I didn't say no. Oh. So it depends oh. what time we get unloaded oh. and get back into town. Even if we don't go tonight, I'm still going to edit the vlog pretending that we just go straight there even if it's tomorrow night. <laughs> We rolled up and then, well, what do you know? The cops come. We ruined it. <laughs> we're out on McCormick, we start talking about going fast, and then uh, we were gonna go to TX2K. But, for now, Lincoln, Mexico. Lincoln, Mexico. See, he's trying to rile him up, because I don't think anyone here is gonna run. Not even a burnout. Who the fucking Give it a poke. the day. Oh yeah, dude. There ain't, there ain't nothing better than a KA backfire. Dude. Oh, dude. I will be back in 15 minutes. <laughs> man, fuck Nebraska, man. We're popping uh, Skyler's cherry here. <laughs> He's I'm pretty excited. excited. Oh yeah. Hey, let me ask I'm the people excited. something. Definitely thought you were taking the photo there. So, oh, oh whoa. Oh, man. These hurt just as much as Rolos, bro. Um, so when you guys use eye drops, how do you guys put it in? Do you just drop it straight in? Are you trying to get that Target sponsorship? <laughs> you drop it straight in? Or do you put it at an angle into the corner of your eye like this? Cole's really sleepy. I don't know if he's gonna make it through the night. Hey, I gotta drive like four minutes. <laughs> Dude, always, always a bus tonight, man. Big time. It's a lot of good. Flexus on the gram, because this is a moment right Dude, now. Yeah, this is... Yeah, I got you. Do it. For those of you who aren't... Uh, local to Omaha. <laughs> this is some leakage shit. <laughs> Leavenworth started this. We don't want to talk about it though. <laughs> Anyways, it's is it is it biscuits and gravy or it's uh, so it's all right. We'll we'll let the local talk about it. So it's some hash browns, some uh -huh. chicken strips, uh -huh. um, some toast. Uh -huh. Gravy, uh -huh. eggs, uh -huh. cheese, and probably some other shit. Wow, dude. <laughs> Bing. <laughs> So John, how did today go? <laughs> Say that again. Listen, wind is working on cars ever go the way you planned. It's facts. 